What's up guys, for this one I'm gonna be playing a game on my main account, which is currently in Diamond 3. Uh, I'm gonna be against the Zac, this matchup is fine for Kindred. I I think I win early, well I know I win early, but late game it's Zac, so nobody can really stand up to that guy. It's super broken, but we'll see what we can do early game. I went press the attack uh, to try to snowball early game. So let's see what we can do. So I'm gonna start on my red buff since my bot lane can leash me, then go to blue probably and to Gromp for my fast level 3. Then I'm just gonna look to gank either top, mid, the situation doesn't present itself, I can just go counter jungle uh, the Zac at this red. Looks like Top's already trading. They're gonna be trading all the time. The matchup uh, can go either way, so might be a good gank opportunity. So Zack is starting blue, since we don't see their bot lane. Probably does blue into Grom for sure. Just wanna kite the camps around. Blue buff is very slow and it. It's attack speed is also very slow, so it should only like really hit you once or twice. So I'm assuming Zack just cleared his Gromp. Since it is an AoE jungle uh, champion, he's probably gonna... He went Talisman and he probably will clear Wraith, so... If I cannot gank, I can always just go to his red and wait him out. I think this looks pretty gankable. She doesn't ward. Looks like she isn't. Yeah, we should just go in on this. Don't think she has repost. Yes, she does, but she wasted it. She should be dead. Okay. Yeah, so I know this isn't warded. We cannot push in since she has TP. So maybe she's stupid enough to TP to this minions. I have nothing better to do, so just gonna wait a bit. Mid is missing. Looks like she's walking back. So I'm just gonna hope I win the 50-50 on my mark. Pretty sure this is gankable. Okay, so I think she lives too, that's very good and I won the 50-50. She didn't flash, but if she stays in there, it's gankable again. We probably just get her flash or make her low. I cannot fight this. Death is TPing in, but it's like it's broken, I guess. So that's fine. We got his passive. Pretty sure it's flash too. Yeah. So that's fine, I guess. I should have put my E on the Fiora. It's my bad. But it's not all bad. Getting Zach passive is pretty big since I can contest him here at this cuddle. Maybe even gank bot, honestly, I'm just gonna walk straight bot. They see him low and he has no mana, so they're probably just gonna greet for this wave. Zek might be here, but I think I can just quickly kill Jin at least.
He had no mana. It's unlucky. He shouldn't go in melee range either if he has no mana. He got Senna Flash, I'm pretty sure, so it was worth if he just backed off. Now Set is losing 1v1, it's pretty unfortunate. Pretty sure they can just take Drake too. I have no mana to contest it, so... Yeah, I'm completely doomed. No mana though. I don't think I can do a lot. I might try to diver actually since I rally S6, so I'm gonna stick around. I think she's safe, she should be. That's a very good trade. I ideally don't want to gank top even if she has no sum since Drake is up and Cloud Drake is pretty is pretty valuable on Kindred. So I'm just gonna look to gank her. Hope Diana hits six soon. Yeah. Hope she lives triumph, yeah, that's super nice. Just gonna push out one more. Alright, doesn't have TP. Still see Fiora at open, I see their bot lane, so the only one that can contest is Zack. And I doubt he can kill me, he also has no passive. Plus it's very good XP and gold for me. Nice. So she probably just deboarded since she was gone a while. Probably around here somewhere, so top is not gankable for the next 3 minutes. Also, don't just don't want to go there. I want to prio Drake, then maybe look to do something top when Harold spawns. I mean, we could stay for this. Maybe if we can kill someone, we can do Drake after. She should not have gone base. Pretty sure I can sneak into this bush. Just need to back out. I used the uh, big cooldown to save him. Oh, there's no way he gets out. Their bot is very hard to gank with a Zerath. So Zack is probably around the Scotto or maybe even taking the Herald, but I can't really do much about that. Yeah, he's asking for a gang, but I don't know, I don't think it's worth. I have to play from my winning lanes, Diana and both are kind of winning, so. My mark is still there, looks like. Nah, never mind. Probably just took my blue too. Oh no, he didn't. Okay. So I'm just gonna clear this and path down bot again to prioritize Drake. Yeah, like he wants to fight so badly, but I just don't want to into Fiora. Maybe I can just solo this. Oh, I'm not looking. It's my bad. Probably could have killed her if I wasn't looking at Drake. My bad. Okay, so I have bot prio mid. I don't know if she ulted, but nah, she's kind of... Oh man, actually I can gank that. Don't have Zerath ult, but... I think I just flash on her. 
Never mind. Second spot. Uh, just passive again. Nice. That's very nice. Got my mark. Should be a free Drake since Sack is super low. I uh, need help from this. I really need help. Uh, we're prioritizing a Zack. That's fine, but I took so much damage from the dragon. I'm just gonna stay on this. That's fine. We got a lot of good trade, a lot of sums too, I think. And we got the dragon, which is the most important. It's very strong on our team. And I am pretty strong myself. So Zack shouldn't have passive since he died. I'm assuming, I didn't really watch, but it took a long time to kill him. So I'm just gonna assume he doesn't have it. Uh, Senna flash for sure. Less missing. Just gonna prioritize to get both more ahead. Pretty sure Diana shouldn't really struggle anymore against uh, Irelia soon. So, just gonna get my level 8 from my Crocs and look to get both. Thwarted though. Should've upgraded to sweep right regardless, my bad. Can clear it with my ward. Red does have ult. Okay, that's fine. An enemy has been slain. It's very good if she gets out. Zack might be on the... Yeah, he should be on Scott also, she's safe. I'm just gonna go for my mark then, since I... Yeah, we see him. That's probably coming for me. So overall, I think it's worth. We got two kills, and I got my mark for a herald that's probably not gonna get played, so it's fine. Irelia's doing. She's roaming both, I guess, but I don't really think she can kill. Just gonna try to get my mark. Oh, Zach is here. Ah. If I had smite. He shouldn't have passive. That's nice. Got my mark still. Let's see if we can gank this. Set does have ult, and I have ult too, so it should be no risk. She's tanking tower way too soon, too. Just chase that. He needs to ult her away from me. That's yeah, nice. That's a very strong combo, set kindred. When it's used with you, not against you. I don't know where Zack is. Probably still around. He can just take the tower by himself. So I'm gonna go storm. Oh, I bought two. I'm gonna go storm razor here. Since they have a lot of champs that just want to dive me, so the extra slow and kiting help is really gonna come in handy. 
Don't have a lot to do since my bot is not up blue. I don't really care about. So I just want to look to get Diana more ahead. She's, looks like she's still tr struggling against her right, but she has double buff, so should be good. It's not warded. Yeah, we can go. She missed stun. Oh, I missed the trolling. I don't think uh, I can actually kill her. Okay, so bot tower is gone for sure, we can't do anything about that. I'm just gonna take the scuttle real quick to heal up a bit before Drake. We have Seth here and, and Fiora isn't here yet, so we can get control of it. Just get lane prior mid. We should wait until he has ult. Yeah, Fiora is just splitting, just start this so Seth can TP it off. Ah. That's pretty smart by them. I don't know why we chase that, like Drake is the primary focus. We should have just gone for that. We still win the trade, I think. Lost the tower stop though. Damn. Hope he kills him. I don't think so. He does have ult and he's pretty weak, but he has no time to cast it. Maybe he gets out since she missed her. Yeah, okay, that's not bad overall. Maybe they can even kill her with uh the uh, Zerathold. We did waste TP and Fira still does have TP I'm pretty sure for next uh, Drake or Baron. We can just take mid tower though. Maybe even kill her if she just stays there. I'm just gonna ult for Diana. You shouldn't have passive, I'm just gonna wait for my ult to expire and execute. Not sure she wins that, so I'm just gonna... Well, she kind of into that. Strange play by the Fiora. Okay, that's very nice. I don't think we uh, chase that. Just gonna go for my mark, ping my support to come with me, maybe to support. Oh, I killed the wall hop. Yeah, they overstayed maybe. I mean, I can clean up, I think. Just gonna go straight for Jin. Nice. Super worth. Uh, I have ult. Oh, I have a flash iron, I have to. Pretty sure I'm dead. Okay. He's so tanky. Damn. He deals so much damage too, god damn. Stormraiser probably could have saved me there, honestly. If I got like a few auto attacks, I slow him and I just queue away. So it does have ult. Alright, I'm gonna kill him. It's hard to predict that. Damn. Still overall very worth trade. Got four kills, I think, for two, so that's fine. Three, I think. Uh, I got my mark too, so. She should live. He has no passive here still. Have to just care for Jin ult. 
This is a gen I just played with and we got stomped very hard and he went AFK. He just rage quit so he might have rage quit again. I haven't seen him on the map for a pretty long time. Probably ward it, she's gonna run the other way. No. Take on the CS, my bad. Okay, he's still here. Just gonna look to play for Drake. I um, know for sure that we're stronger, but she's kind of in thing. We have to contest this. We are still dead, so we should be able to just walk in if Seth comes quickly. That's fine though. I think that's worth to kill Zack too, so. And I got my mark from the Zack. We should win that, I don't know why he got out of there. I'm just eating so much. Okay, we should just focus on the Drake. There's no way Senna steals it, so. Just executing, it's fine. It's gonna ping that we have to play for Baron and Diana can have the blue. Just gonna look to set up vision around the Baron. Take Scott or clear their vision if they have. a high chance that Zack is around bot since my mark is there, Zareth is pushing. So we might be able to rush it honestly if Kaisa moves to, up to us. Yeah, it doesn't look like we want to, so I'm just gonna hover um, set. Yeah, this chain just gave up I think. <laughs> Feels kind of good, like he was super toxic and he went AFK in my last game, so... Ah oh, shit, I intend. I don't have ult. Oof, clutch. I don't know why Seth recalled, honestly. It was full health. I think we just win the game if he stayed. You probably didn't expect me to survive that long. At least I got all the kills, but I think they can just Baron off of that. I think they can stop it. Diana is ult if she gets a good R. Should ult, yeah. I don't think he has passive. Damn, the sack healing is disgusting. Well, they stop Baron, it's not bad. 1 for 2 and stop Baron. Overall worth. Pretty sure I can just kill this guy, flash on him if he stays alone. A 
I'm not respecting Zack. I'm playing kind of greedy now. I have to focus up. Yeah, since Baron is up, I really can't be doing that. Like, one for one is not the worst, but I'm the jungler, so I cannot die when Baron is up. They scale pretty well just because of Zac. Like, that champ is super unbalanced, unkillable. Good thing that he isn't uh, going Warmox yet. He's going for Spirit Visage, which is gonna help him a lot against our damage, but. I'm also pretty sure I'm just gonna need a Last Whisper item. Worth a reminder, probably they have a lot of feeling. Should get an Executioner's ASAP. It's gonna be our next buy, probably. Kaisa should also get one. Yeah, we have no healing reduction at all. I should have bought it earlier. No camps to take. I guess solo on top. I'm not gonna go in, I know Zach is around, so yeah, okay this is warding. Looking to get enough gold for my executioners. The skill should be enough if we get it. Yeah, she's chunked it. Should be free. Still gonna walk in case he misses, which he is. I can go back because of the dragon, but we should just win this. It's a 3v5. There is a kind of trolling. For, by going for this. There's no way we give this up. Don't get help, guys. Don't have smite for it since I use it on him. I'm just gonna stay on Drake. Like, they should win that fight. Yeah, that's good. We should just get push this out and go Baron. I have a pretty big buy next one, next base. The executioner alone is just gonna like cancel their whole team. Like it's still I don't have smite actually. It's not a very good call. Now if we just stall for my smite, we have a lot of time, just take Scuttle first. Yeah, we should stall, like, this is super free steal. I actually want to get my infinity edge now, that's how, and then I'm so sorry, I'm gonna have to delay the executioner base, or oh, even buy, I mean. It's just too much value to just complete this infinity edge over the executioner.
I'm huge now. Uh, do we have some heating reduction? Still not on my team. I don't know what she's doing there. She just should just come to help us. Well, I guess they're getting pressure there, so this should be free for us mid. Psych is probably here. Okay, so. Just looking to get towers, no need to go for kills. He has no passive, he should be dead. So you can see the crates, that's all because of Infinity Edge. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be the guy. Okay, GG.